Hello friends and welcome to a porch makeover. I have been meaning to do this since we've moved in. It's been over two years now and I thought today is the day. I say today, it didn't actually take us just one day. It took us weeks and weeks to try and plan this out first. I also needed to order new door, new windows, etc, etc. But basically, before we start, if you are new to the channel, I am Alina Ghost. I actually do daily mum shorts, loads of like funny and great content for parents. And basically, I also do two long form videos on YouTube as well. Sometimes I do document my house makeovers because we bought a project house and there's loads to do around the house and this is the porch makeover. I've done my kids bedroom. I am planning to do paneling in my own bedroom as well so do stick around for that if you're interested and then next year we're hoping to have an extension so I'm super looking forward to that because at the moment we've got an awful kitchen but anyway if you did want to see all of that and loads of parents, mum hacks, clean with bees and things like that, then do subscribe to the channel and I'd love to have you with us. And basically what I'm doing today, so this is going to be showing you a number of different days that I do the DIY because I do also work full time. I also have a three year old and a dog that needs walking daily. So yes, life gets busy. But basically today I'm just sorting out the primer and I th I didn't know what to do with the brick. I wasn't sure whether I wanted it rendered first, but I decided to go for a cheaper route and just DIY it. So I'm using just a normal primer and then later on you will see me using masonry paint just to make sure that it didn't actually come off the, the bricks. And I think it actually worked really well. So I do recommend you actually always add a primer first anyway before painting. So later on, what you're going to see is the man taking down our old door which has a broken window panel in there because my son was playing ball and fetch with the dog and the ball went straight through one of the window panels <laughs> anyway it was a very old door apparently it's been there nearly a hundred of years so yeah basically that gets replaced and you'll see the man actually taking it out and we do get a new door which you'll see at the end as well as the windows which is fantastic and basically then you'll see me painting it over again with the masonry paint like I've mentioned you'll see my husband putting down the floor which was super duper great because I was tired of seeing what we currently have at the bottom there it was like some sort of weird panel or rather pattern if anybody knows what that pattern meant I'd be happy to hear about it but I'm glad it's gone <laughs> but yeah basically see a lot more painting I did some um, sorting out of the like the inside what we want like in terms of the shoes basically decluttering the shoes and then you'll see me putting the shoe box together my son also joins me for that one as well as the dog and then at the end you'll see before and after pictures so I will leave you with some great upbeat music and meet you guys later on
had a feeling you'd come back and save me from all those lonely nights and heartbreaks. And I feel misplaced without you. Why don't we go back to? Why don't we go back to? Never wanted to end.
guys, looking at this footage again, my puppy really loves to get involved, doesn't he? Anyway, my son helped me out with this. He was actually very good. I was surprised. Um, but yeah, so basically we put this shoebox together. My other half was in the office. Otherwise, he would have done this. <laughs> but yeah, basically ended up finishing this up and putting this in the porch. And I wanted to walk you through this. So the biggest difficulty was my husband's shoes. His, his size is like 12, if not more than that and basically they're very big shoes and they tried to double up on some of them he's got loads for some reason I've got a lot of my own shoes under my bed so I don't actually wear them often so the ones that I do wear nearly daily I've put here and then I've added a little section here for umbrellas and a bag too but I do have a, a basket that I've recently put in in the porch as well where I'm seeing whether I could put the umbrellas in there maybe but here is a before and after look at that pattern on that floor what is that <laughs> but yeah the brick is gone so like the exposed brick and the new door is in the new windows are in so the flooring looks great in the after and I am super duper excited to be using this new porch. It looks new, but I didn't actually spend that much money. If anything, I got the floor for free from a Facebook group. Um, I got some paint from my dad-in-law and basically the only thing that cost a buck was basically the new door. But can you count that as part of the porch makeover? Who knows? Anyway, this is the after. Thanks for joining me. Catch you later.